and we record it and upload it to, to YouTube. Excuse me. Oh, oh go okay. ahead. So uh, that is um, that is for uh, the uh, YouTube video and um, I mean the lecture videos that we uploaded on YouTube. Okay. Uh, so let's get back to the home page here and for the next one. Um, well, this instruction here basically that uh, show you how to set up your Zoom, but since you know how to get here, so it's not really uh, much to it. So uh, the next, last one is right here, which is we have the physical locations of the class. Okay, so we'll have here uh, this, the address, and if you click on the map, and it will lead you right to the location. So we will have the uh, um, uh, uh, next sometime next week that we will have. Uh, we got to go uh, over there to uh, to have the hand on on the laps. And uh, this is what it looked like on the uh, street, which is University Avenue. When you look into that building right there, and uh, well, much better sort here. But you got to go into the back here in order to enter the building. There's no access in the front. So you got to drive uh, the, uh, the very big parking lot uh, over here at the back, and you can enter from the back. Okay. So that is for the class location. So, uh, um, and I mean, uh, his, uh, if you have any problem, uh, Mr. Fan phone number is right here, okay? Or I mean, on the top is also have his uh, email and also his uh, same phone number that you saw on down here. So, and uh, this, you now here is the assignments page, uh, which is, you can see the first one that uh, you need to work on, which is assign, um, uh, assignment number one, okay? You uh, click on it, and you can see on my screen, so basically it download it into my download uh, folder. So, and, uh, and when you get done with it, you need to upload it. But anyway, I'm going to open it and show you uh, basically what it looks like. Okay, so uh, whenever you open the uh, the assignments and you will see the uh, it should be an X Excel uh, format. So it looks something like this. And uh, um, when you open it the first time, so when you, normally you will see on the top here, try to um, protect your, from the virus. So in order, uh, so you need to edit it. Up to this point, you cannot do anything to the file. You can uh, you cannot add it to the file. And to do that, you need to um, click on here, enable editing. Now you can uh, enter the uh, any information uh, uh, on on the assignment. So. So uh, yeah, as you can see uh, on the first line, you, uh, you need to put your name in here, okay? And uh, the uh, this is the status. Uh, it means that right now, currently, it's a belt. So whatever, I mean, you need, for this year, you, uh, you, it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, all the questions here. So, uh, the bottom line is to uh, enter the answer uh, to all the questions. If it's, uh, everything is correct, and uh, this status here, we should di display pass, okay? So uh, here is multiple choice. You can you know, enter A, and you enter in here, uh, B, whatever. So it's another thing that um, uh, you want really to look for is because it's very sensitive to the space. Um, so, uh, for example, I have put here my B 
Uh, so uh, it's not supposed to add a space in the front, but uh, so it should be look uh, like something. Let me try to zoom it in so you can see things better. Oh, sorry. Wow, where is it? Oh, let me see. Okay, uh, I try to zoom it in, but it, it seems like uh, up here doesn't really make it bigger. Let me try one more time. No, didn't help. Okay, but uh, anyway, let's say right here is a B, right? And you can see, uh, look up here. Okay, B, uh, when I highlight it, it highlight B up there, which is the answer right here. But sometimes you have a little space in the front of it, just something like this. And when you uh, try to highlight this guy, you can see a little space in the front. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Well, let's say I have a couple more space so you can see uh, better. You can see here in the front when I highlight it, so you can see them in the front, it has a few, um, a few spaces in the front. Okay, so that is not a, uh, the, um, the assignments will not take it. It's uh, considered as a, it failed. It's the wrong answer. So you got to make sure there's no spaces in the front of the answer. Okay. And then again, so you fill it up and this becomes pass, which means everything correct. So when that is, uh, when you got done with it, you save it. So uh, for example, let's say, okay, I'm going to save it into my. Uh, I'm going to save it uh, into my computer. Okay, so now, now uh, just for the heck of it, so I'm going to save it into the uh, 2021, 20, uh, I mean, 2021 fall uh, folder on my computer. Okay, so let's say this is a pass, so I save it. Okay, so this is the um, file name. Uh, here you can see assignment one. Okay, that's the name of the file. So uh, I saved it into my folder, which is it should be a C drive. School and fall 2021 fall. And so you can see this uh, right there is the file I just saved into this folder. Okay, so you need to upload like, uh, this file to the website in order to get credit for it. So to do that, uh, to go back to the website. So go back to the website on the top, it should say uh, upload file, okay? So we'll go up here to say upload file. And here you can enter your name, uh, my first name and uh, my last name. Now, uh, need to choose a file. Now go into navigate to your computer to get the file that uh, I saved it a moment ago. It happened to be in C and scroll. And fall 2021. Okay. So here is the file that I saved it earlier. Go so save it, click on it, and say open. Now, when that has happened, uh, you choose a file, and the file name should be listed here. Oops, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, let me do one more time. Okay. So um, for your new sections, which is uh, tech one, tech, this tech one, it tech two, I mean, section two here. If you tech two, you need to check this box. But for new students, you don't need to check the box here. So now I want to uh, upload. So this, uh, it's a no file chosen. It means that 
the file earlier, uh, name earlier here got uploaded. It's done. It's on the uh, on the server. So now, uh, um, in in case as you forgot what you upload uh, on the server, now you scroll down and at the bottom you say retrieve here, and you can do it to get all the file. I mean, try to see what is in the server currently. So enter your name, enter your first name, enter your last name, and just click on retrieve. Okay, so you can see that when I click on retrieve section one, and so right now I'm in, I mean, I, I'm in section one with the tech one, and it's my name and all the file that I uploaded uh, before, when the, this is the, the one that I just uploaded a moment ago. So that is when we upload your file. When you got done with the homework and you upload the file. Okay, so basically that is what uh, you guys look into this page here and uh, do one by one um, uh, as, I mean, assignment here. Done, upload, done, upload. Okay, so uh, now, And um, um, start out every week, Mr. Fam, before a lecture, Mr. Fam will have handouts for you. So you can read, go through it before the class gets started. So you know what's co uh, is going to be on the lecture. So what we have here is currently, you can see that the date uh, Mr. Fam uploaded, which is September uh, the 7th. So, uh, so these are the two handouts that you, uh, you need to download it and read it, go through it before the lecture, okay? So just uh, for example, let's click on this right now and you can see what we have is uh, it downloaded at the bottom and, uh, and just open it. So that's the, the first, the first um, handout that you need to look into. Okay, so uh, when you open it, it will look something like this, right? For the first time, I mean, uh, for the first uh, handout, okay? So you, and uh, Mr. Fam will have lectures on it uh, today. So that is how you get your handout from the website. Um, so uh, for, for the, uh, I know that a couple of students were asking me about register, but for some reason you cannot uh, do that. Here is another, uh, I already show you, I sent out the email, the, the link how to get to, I mean, the link to the student services. And uh, if, uh, I, mean, I mean, they will help you out, but I mean, here's, we have the link that you need, you can go, uh, click on here to create your portal, okay? So uh, click on this and you can say, I mean, it will go into uh, the create your account and you can go, I mean, enter, you can follow step by step uh, in order to create your account, okay? So after you create your account and you need to um, register for the class and you, this is the second link here, access to my uh, SDCCD portal. So when you register for the class, you're supposed to have the ID number. Okay, so you enter your ID number. Here is supposed to be a pen digit uh, um, altogether and enter your password. You lock in there and follow step by step. Uh, with the, uh, I, uh, we will provide the permission code for you to register the class. Okay, once you get the, up to that point, uh, ask for a permission code, uh, you can email me or Mr. Fan, we can uh, give you the code so you can uh, register for the class, okay? So basically that's all I uh, can, when 
I can say it about this website. All right. So is there anything that uh, I'm missing, or uh, Mr. Pam? Okay, any question? Okay, so any question for me? You know, the big problem now, we have to find out, is it they not qualify for the COVID? Okay, uh, that is brought me back to where we were before. Consider that I mean, now uh, we just notified us from the district regarding the that, uh, the COVID that uh, let's see. Uh, where is my email? Okay, so here is here's the list. Oh, um, let me share my screen again. So here I have the uh, list of students who have not clear, which is you have not upload your COVID documents through that you are fully vaccinated or uh, test the, 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 uh, the test the COVID uh, results, okay? So, I mean, I'm going to uh, scroll down. So if you are on the list here, make sure that you go to the link I saw earlier and finish up uploading your documents or go to the test location and get tested. Okay. And this is so. This is the list of students have not uh, 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 upload your documents. Okay. Now, uh, and I mean again, when uh, look at the, look at the screens and look for your name. If your name is uh, up here on this list, make sure you do that. Again, I'm going to go back to the website and uh, um, show you the, the link that I showed you earlier. <laughs> That uh, is it okay? Sorry, it's the tie. The student have concern about sharing their IDs on the on the video. Oh, sorry, okay, 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 okay. Let me uh, I'm sorry, uh, let me stop sharing in a second and I'm gonna move it to my screen. Okay, so I'm gonna share um, my screen again with our showing name. I mean, uh, the ID. Okay, so um, to get, um, can you see the my screen now, Sam? Yeah, we can see partial of the student ID and the full name still. Partial student ID. Yeah, they're concerned about you know having their vaccination information on the and get to record it and it's going to be uploaded into the YouTube. So they, they really have a concern about that. Okay, so... Uh, uh, so we can, so it's, yeah, it's the privacy, so... Okay, so uh, we can... It better not this. share, yeah, better not to share that because then, you know, it's still there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I mean, so uh, if you have not uploaded your... Um, True, and you know, and you can go to again go to this website. Uh, I'm sorry, not what what website, but more. Okay, so that's the link I showed earlier. It's right here. Okay, and uh, I mean again, this is the all information regarding the. Uh, COVID upload. Okay, go up here and upload the documents. And here are the vaccine location. I mean, you can get tested uh, on these locations here. Okay. All right. So that's all I have to say. Okay, Mr. Frank. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, my big question is, in order to get into the club, then you must be get through it, validate that, okay? And the second thing is, if you not, then is it they will be dropped you out or what else? Oh, no. No, no, that's what I said. That's what I still try to see what's going on, okay? The thing is you just online, that's not big deal, supposed to be. Online, you don't have to need uh, to verify that. However, if they still want to forcing everyone have to be uh, verified for the COVID-19 in hey, order man. to register. Stop six planes. Into the program. Understand? Then what happened? Maybe the class have to be closed. The program have to be closed. The thing you don't have it. Enough students. So that's why I have to work in with the, the city to see what they wanted. Normally to me, online, you don't have to. But if you want to get in class for training, then you must get the verify for the COVID-19. Okay. Uh, it's still few things we have to make it clear to the city. I get some at least two students asking me about they will be uh, city will be drop them out if they not verify. So I will be work with them and very soon we will know what's going on, what happened. And right now I cannot schedule, okay, for the program. The thing is, even instructor don't know how many hours per week he can be teaching. So that's why. Still too many things confusing me, okay? So anything else, any more questions to bring it up? The thing is I still get all instructor in the program. They may be real, help. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just real quickly, Mr. Pham, because uh, I just uh, a couple of days ago logged on for the vaccine and I have the exact link if anybody needs it. To, to, to log on for the vaccine. And what they also said was uh, they changed the date. So uh, if you're not logged in by Friday, they will automatically drop you. They will, they, they'll drop you even if you don't know about it. They'll just automatically drop you by Friday. So I, I have the link if you guys need it to go directly to them and get logged on. Because I, I did it uh, like a day or two ago. If you want the link, it's uh, HTTPS double dots, then slash slash, then www.sdccd.edu slash, then the word students, then slash, then 19, then slash. And that'll get you directly in there. You can write it down and uh, say out with them. Okay, all right. Mr. Fan. I'll do it by Friday. They 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 said they're gonna drop people. Mr. Fan. Yes. Uh when I had uh spoken to the uh a couple offices, Point Loma and uh the uh Fairmont office, there was a uh consideration from the uh instructors understanding that the instructor was 
to be controlling some type of uh, drop variable regarding online and hybrid courses. So if there was a percentage of online versus hybrid, there was a, some under, understanding that the instructor had that control for drop versus actually going to a school or the classroom where that became a, a vaccination issue. No student could enter a class if they weren't vaccinated. Online was considered different. So that's the only thing uh, we need clarification is the, is the hybrid online versus an in-class instruction. Thank you, that's all I wanted to say. So basically, if they only online only, then they can be dropped or not. You need to register the vaccination if you got to go in person. If you online, you don't need to do it. Like if you got to go to a lab. Right, that's what I think that way. However, you know, at least your student told me, you know, they can be, they will be dropped out. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the, the online hybrid, I think is the only thing that needs to be verified to keep a percentage of the students uh, at least available to attend. And, I, and from what I understand, it was the instructor who has that uh, option to drop. But that's from just speaking from somebody in the office when I called in to try and get some clarification. So, so that's something I know you, you're, you're working. Thank you. Okay, if that happened, that would be okay. That mean, if you want to be in class, then you have to be qualified for clear. Otherwise, you still be in the program. But like the last couple of semester, we still be online. Like, you know, we already did it. If they said, Everyone have to be qualified for the COVID-19. Otherwise they drop it, then the class must be closed. The thing is we don't have enough students. I hope that never cannot be happen. Can someone confirm if you got the link? Yeah, the links show up on the chat, Joe. Okay, thank you. So, Mr. Pham. Yeah, go ahead. For this uh, first and Friday on the schedule, say lab. So, do we do we have a schedule as in uh, who who is scheduled and what time will be? Yeah, that will be. Let your guy know what next going on in the meeting tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the thing is, right now it's very tough for us to try to do but we don't know what's going on at the city. Even I don't know how many hours I will be teaching on instructor the same thing. So I cannot schedule for them. Hopefully tomorrow we can get something out, okay? Anything else, just any question, just uh, bring it up. So we can help you guys. I um, have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I want to know if I can change this day because I have something to do in five o'clock on Thursday. Can you say again? Who can, who can answer for me? Abdul. 
bar. I want to see I'm changing this class in the Zoom today, just today, because uh, Wednesday, uh, because they have uh, something to do at five o'clock, you know. So basically, uh, uh, do you have something to do at five o'clock? You can uh, look at the video, the recorded video every day. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else? I just want to be clear on this on this week's schedule. This week, it's all week. It's gonna be um, Zoom, or are we gonna do Lab uh, Thursday and Friday? How the schedule shows in the website. Tomorrow, I'll do we right now? Tomorrow we will know. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I have another question about the scheduling or the schedule. Um, so Mondays, there's never class. Is that the deal? And the class is always going to be Tuesday through Friday? The schedule right now cannot say anything. You can look into the website. Yeah, so remember, Monday was a holiday. That's why we didn't have any class on Monday. Okay, so make sure you look at the website for all the scheduled class meeting. Okay. Okay, one other question. Um, will, will there ever be lecture and lab on the same day? Um, or will it always be one or the other? Now that is until you, there's going to be the lecture, the lecture is going to be a different day. Uh, usually we try to reserve on Monday and Tuesday as lecture. And then uh, like uh, on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday would be lab schedule. But right now, like Mr. Pham said, uh, he's not really sure on the schedule. He still have to talk with uh, people at the mid city office and also at the main headquarters to find out what kind of schedule he, what kind of hours he's going to be working to, so that way he can be able to put a set schedule for all the students to come in to do, to do the lab, okay? So right now, so, not, yeah, nothing, nothing is totally clear yet. So no lab this week, am I right? Um, well, Mr. Fan no. will get more information as we go through. <laughs> so, yeah, so everything will be updated as we no. as we get the information. Okay. Now, the reason I should be mentally prepared and take out a slot for that one. That's the only reason <laughs> I was asking. Okay. Yeah. So, um, if you already, you know, if you have already gone through the class already, yeah, just expect that you will be getting the lab coming up this Thursday and Friday. And Sam, it'll work as it previously did in that um, while Tech 1 is having a lecture night, Tech 2 will be in the lab and vice versa? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's see, student want to contact my information. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen. Uh, okay, uh, let me go ahead and close this out first. Uh, close this one. Okay, uh, let me see if I'll be going through here. Okay. Uh, I have a question, Mr. Sam. Yes, sir. Is any way possible a lab on Saturdays? No. <laughs> no, uh, like I said, we, we only have uh, the, this main city office gave us only a schedule for Monday to Friday. So they're not paying <laughs> us if we go on Saturday, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my contact number, if, uh, if you need to contact me for any information or any help, uh, this is my contact information, okay? So make sure you take it down. So anytime that you will be doing some homework and you have some kind of, uh, you not understand something, yeah, we can schedule together. You can get together with me on Zoom. Uh, this is my Zoom uh, ID number and my password to get into my Zoom. Or you can send an email to me uh, if you have any concern or you want to set up time schedule. 
And this is my time schedule for, for appointment. So you can contact, uh, you can text me uh, the appointment uh, time schedule. I have working Monday to Friday from 1 to 9 p.m. So if you prefer, if you have some other time that you prefer, uh, you have to text me that so you can schedule to make sure that I have time available to work with you, okay? So that is my time schedule. So this is my contact information if you need to contact me, okay? So make sure you take it down, uh, take it down. Uh, so write it down, the information. So that way you can contact me if you need any help or need some assistance, okay? Hey Sam, I'm, I apologize. I missed the part about Tech 2 for, for lab on what is it, Thursday and Friday or when to come or not to come because this is the first week. Right uh, now, uh, like, yeah, did, okay, go uh, ahead, Mr. No lab this week. Right. Okay. No class this week? So, Mr. Fan, <laughs> there's no lab this week. Uh, basically, uh, Thursday and Friday, we're off then, correct? No, maybe that will be uh, anything. What I can say uh, tomorrow. Thursday and Friday are a solid maybe. <laughs> That's a maybe. The <laughs> class is over for today, am I right? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Semi, I have a question. Yes, you know how I... you said we have to uh, turn in, we have to make sure that we're vaccinated for something? I was already vaccinated. Yes, uh, I think there's a, okay. So like um, we're trying to explain to you, make sure you're able to submit that. Uh, document into the portal. What? And so you had to submit that. Mr. Ty showed you that you had to go to the web to the website to submit that information. Okay. Okay. So, show, oh, oh, share oh. screen. So share submit. Screen. So you go to the website. Okay. So you go to the uh, let me go ahead and go into the website. Okay. So Mr. Ty said you have to go through this website and you now we're gonna set everything that is on, uh, we're doing online. So any of the lecture online, you'd uh, this vaccination. Uh, so you just have to do it, just submit it. So that way you'd be able to participate in a classroom lab situation. Okay, so you have to go through here and click on this one, say question regarding COVID and submit vaccination documentation online. Okay, so you okay, click on that link. And then it bring you, and then you just go through that. They tell you uh, step by step how to go through it. Okay, so yes. you have to prove, and then they said right here said submit form online. So you click on that, and now if you did not get vaccinated, then you have to click, go click on this vaccination location to find now okay. all the testing places that they can test you daily to find out if you have it or not. And then okay, that sounds okay. I already got vaccinated. Okay, then, oh, yeah, you have to, then you have to do the submit right here. Go through okay, submitting the document, okay? Thank you about that. All right, you're welcome. Okay. And I, I did submit my uh, vaccination card a week or two back, um, but okay. I, don't, I don't believe they ever sent any uh, confirmation or anything after that. Um, I think either Mr. Tai or Mr. Hong Pham would get the, get the information to confirm oh, on that. Okay. He can only tell you the confirmation, so yeah. So. Okay. I just now uploaded my vaccination card and I got confirmation of SPSC. Did I'll you receive it? I'll look again then. Maybe I got it and I just didn't see. Or maybe in your, in your trash folder or spam folder. I'll have Possible. A <laughs> because you. a lot of things goes there too. Yeah, no, same thing with mine too. And I'm folding? Yes, sir. Okay, you, are have, you have it, you clear. Okay. Oh, good. Excellent, thank you. What about me? I just <laughs> well, you just submitted. I just, just, just let me know your name and then I let you know. Shafi Ahmad Peter just now uploaded. Just okay, now. Okay, okay, hold on a second. I'm looking for your Shafi name. Ahmad. The long name Shafi Ahmad. Okay, you clear. Clear. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Yes, I <laughs> Now, it's a, it's a, I, uh, I have a listing of the tech. Two. 
Okay. Yeah, please. So you if you are, please. you are registered for that too, you can uh, just un unmute your uh, mic and then talk to me and then I tell you, you clear or not. I have a listing here. I can don't you want to show. Viola, please? You clear. Right. Viola. Thank Smith. you. Smith, okay. I have a question. Hello? I have a question. You are clear. Who? Who else? Yeah, I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, Francisco. Okay, um, I, I think you belong to yeah. take one. Yeah, but okay, I, I so have a question bring up about your the... Person and then another instructor will take care of it. Okay, so um, I got my first... I got my first dose of the vaccine, um, so I would have to be testing weekly. Do I have to go to your guys' sites, or can I go to my own? Because I've already made an appointment for tomorrow to go get tested. Yeah, that's fine. You can go to your appointment there, and then after what, once you have it completely uh, vaccinated, and then you can submit the document into online. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Mr. Pham, can you uh, check me? Um, my name is Hugh, Hugh Nguyen. Okay, hold on a second. You're not clear, Hugh? Yeah? I'm not cleared. Um, they gave okay. me a, they gave me a, they cleared me on, they sent me an email. Um, so you, when, when you send it? They, because uh, up to uh, this time, I got the uh, an email. email. Saying, Hugh, you are cleared to return to campus at SDCCE. I got an email from the uh, office, okay, and it said you not clear. So I don't know. Uh, you submit your vaccinate paper. Um. So I was talking to Elizabeth this morning. Um. So I'm not going to be fully vaccinated. So I'm going to do undergo uh, weekly testing. Um. So um, I already uploaded the negative test and um through biocept i believe and uh they yeah they sent me an email back saying that i was cleared so i just wanted to make sure with and, you guys. and remember that test may be valid for uh, which or yeah, or so, less. yeah i mean i i'm gonna i'm gonna go that route um since it's and, an option and if not you've uh, not that uh, the vaccinate so you have to do that thing every week yeah Remember that that uh, the valid for only one week or less. I don't know how how long, but I know if yeah, I, uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna you, have to do uh, that. You have to do that every week, right? To make sure. Yeah, I guess, if, I guess if, okay. if, if they Thank are God not clear, back, uh, it, it comes, uh, I I tested one day and it came back the next day, and so uh, <laughs> if. If they not clear your name from uh, the their list, then uh, that way uh, we cannot get a uh, schedule you, for you to do what uh, the hand on testing. Uh huh. Can because you, the, the hand on testing that at the group of the student, uh, the sick, uh, 16 students on the two room, and with mm -hmm. the instructor and an assistant people. So we are in uh, the room and we need to make sure everybody's safe. So everybody yeah. have to do a vaccinate before you can get into the lab. And that is a requirement from the yeah, main office. And so we cannot can do anything with, the, with that. Can you check with the main office? Um, because they did send me an email clearing me. And <laughs> they, they did, yeah, they, I have the email right here. Um, OK, OK. We will, uh, so that, uh, that is the, your name. You said that you send in the test that uh, document, it, right? They sent me, yeah, they sent me it, several emails. Um, it, it, it's not the vaccinate, but it is the test paper. That, yeah. You know, that two things different. If you already vaccinate for uh, the COVID-19, you are clear for the, I don't know how long, maybe five, six or seven months. But you are testing it valid only at um, uh, two or the one week and then look into 
they uh, the test in right here they what they said in there and then you will know it's how you can you have to handle who you have to deal with the main office to make sure it they clear your uh, they cleared so they sent me an email saying it's clear but you didn't i guess you guys didn't receive no, it uh, i i didn't get because they sent it to you but uh and, uh, we will get uh, uh, an update of the uh, clear vaccinate uh, uh, the COVID-19. Uh, they, gave me, the they, gave me a, they gave me a green pass. Um, so maybe um, you can check with the office about that. Okay. Yeah, we will bring bring that one up and see if they, they have to uh, send us a, a new list every week or so to make sure it's a uh, student at the do testing able to get into the hand-on lab okay that's, yeah that's one of the options thank, they listed. thank, thank so, you here uh, you bring that one up thank you very okay. much okay sir thank you who else have a question uh lovato am i on your list no so you belong to a uh, tech one okay so go ahead on me please Kun me, you not yeah. clear. Huh? You are not clear. What? You what about me? Your, your vaccinated, the COVID-19 vaccinated. Yeah. You did? Yeah. When? You want to do again today? Oh, I you did for the class. Okay, we so, will be at. The, okay, I the day to update it. Okay, so I I will check the update, the most update one. Okay, let let you know within that uh, uh, this week. We okay. will have we will have another list. Okay, thank you. You welcome, call me. Mr. Ho, can you check for my name, please, Emily? Who, who talking? Emily. Emily, ta Emily, right? T A, yeah. right? Yeah. A -A -M -E -L -E. Uh, you're not clear. Really? I just submit my uh, vaccination card. When? When? Last night and I got the Okay, email. so you have to wait. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that, that okay. is a good news, uh, Emily. You yes. will be clear pretty soon. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank I, you. I'm waiting for that. It's a new uh, uh, listing from the main office because uh, you just... Uh, Upload that, so it might maybe take another day. Yeah, <laughs> because I got the email. They said it on the review. Of yeah, my, uh, yeah. You are mistake. you are working with them directly with the email, but we are uh, get into the uh, information from the um, uh, main office. We not go into deal with your mm -hmm. uh, the paper for COVID nineteen. It they not allow that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Remember, that is the all main right. office. Take care, it's not instructor. Yeah, all right. Okay, thank you, thank you Emily. Mm -hmm. We will see you in the lab when the class okay. starts, okay? All right, thanks. I have a question about, about the lab. Go ahead. Okay, Um, I know the lab hours, when it's available, would that be from five to seven? Or is it available during earlier time too? During the daytime? Uh, yeah, the, the, the lab will be at, at from a 3 to 5 and 5 to 7. That oh, is 3 a, to 5. That is a 2. Uh, to uh, mm, ship for it, uh, lab night, okay? okay? So good, if, you. if you want like uh, it, uh, to go from three to five or five to seven, you need to uh, let us know so we can schedule for you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Can you check for Charles Souza for the vaccination, please? Mr. Thai, ciao. Uh, okay, Charles. Okay, give me a second. Oh, we make a different doubt, but they want to see it. Okay. 
Okay, Charlie. Okay, you are clear. I'm clear. Okay, thank yes, you, sir. Okay, if uh, nobody else have a question, so Mr. Y, Bam, back to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, again. Abdul has a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Ask it. Abdul wants to know if there is another time what time the class meets on Tuesdays, is it possible to do it earlier? What do you mean the class? Well, isn't the class on Tuesdays at five o'clock? Yeah. yeah, in class or in the zoo. And you have to be there for the class? Depend, depend on the schedule. If you take two, then you can get one day online. You can do it online instead. Yeah, and the dread will be the lab in class. I don't understand. What I'm saying is if you on the take two or take one, tell me. Abdul wants to take your class and go to the lab, but he cannot go on Tuesdays at five to the class like today. Is there another time he okay. can take, he can do the class? Okay, now, if you not do in the in class, then you're not supposed to be in the zoo. Okay. If he, so he would have to drop the class in order to not go on Tuesdays. On, on Thursdays, when are the labs? What time are the labs? Okay, now, the lab days, in the class, we're not telling you what day will be. Okay, that is the first. The second thing will be from three to five, then five to seven. Okay. Okay, those are the only two choices. No, it's not two choice. You have to be bored. If you got coming into this program, then you will be get lecture on a Monday. In the Zoom. Okay. And the other day, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, we, we don't know yet. You'll be in plot. For the okay. Lab. So you don't know which day it will be? No, no, not yet, not yet. When will we find out? Maybe tomorrow, depending on, I have to contact to the office. Okay. Okay, we'll let we you know soon. Okay, we will wait till then. Right, that's why right now we cannot make exactly the schedule what's supposed to be. Okay. The thing is sometimes they say, Everyone have to be verified, okay, for vaccinate. Otherwise, they drop. If they do that way, I don't have any more student. Okay. The class cannot run for about 30 students. No. 
that will be closed. So okay. depend depending on the office. If I know that, okay, very soon I will be let your guy know everything. Okay. Yeah, I hope everything will be okay. Okay, but, thank you. Yeah, but make sure. Okay. <laughs> If you already verify or vaccinate, then you will be okay. Doing the lab in the class, and you will be see the schedule, what day, what time you will do it. Okay? Mr. Fark, will you check me please in the list of the vaccine? Okay, when did oh, you do section two or one? Two, right? Yeah, two. Yeah. Oh, no, no. One, one, sorry. One. Uh, section two. No, no, it's in section one. Um, when did you upload your document? Just, just in this moment. <laughs> okay, just this moment. So you got to wait because uh, we need to wait for the update from uh, the district. We uh, no control over it. So if you upload it, it should be okay. Okay. We, what, what we have right now is the old list. So, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, meet the tie. Yes. Okay. After this meeting, can you write a email to them to asking for the update? So we can make a schedule. Otherwise, we will no lab during this week. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, the first week of the first two weeks of class at the beginning of a semester is always like this. So I think everybody should just kind of be patient. Exactly. Thank you. That's only for this season. Yeah. Give me a really hard time. Right, because you're dealing with COVID-19. You <laughs> got to make sure people are tested and all this stuff. So it's hard for you to give them a specific answer at this time. It would be better if people kind of just played along and waited for about two weeks, because by then things will settle down. Yeah, I think so. Okay, by the way, some students asking me, do we teach your guy to fix something in the, the program? Okay. My question, uh, my answer will be not. We not teaching you fixing something. We try to teach you how to do it, how to fix it. Troubleshoot. Right. Before you can ask me, then you have to ask yourself, do you know anything about the basic in electronic? If you not understand the basic in electronic, telling me to teach you fix something I give up, no way I can do it, okay? First thing you have to go through on up the hand out, over, over, and over. Make sure you understand what we try to teach you, okay? Then when you're doing the lab and they're not working like you want it, then we will be teaching you how to solving that problem, okay? We take you the way in the company, okay? Technician need to do. You have to do the same thing, like you run the program to test the circuitry, and now they say fail, they not pass, your job will be fixed, okay? If you don't have a basic understand about the circuitry, no way you can fit it. 
okay? So that's why to make sure, you know, we're not trying to give you the ball and try to fix something in the class. No, that did not happen in this program. We try to build up for you, your understanding, to know how to do what to do. That is good for technician job. And also will be good for you if you keep moving, okay, to the college or to the university. That's what I want to do. I want to run this program for too many years, okay? I'm not taking your guy like a sampler. This is a technician program, okay? So any more uh, question or anything else? Well, uh, I was gonna say that I saw my name on the list. That's all. I took a picture of it, by the way. Uh, Mr. Pham? Go ahead. I, I was saying I saw my name on the list. On the what list? Uh, hold on. It was uh, this one. Okay, so that basically the lab instructor will be answer you. Take huh? one and two. Huh? Take one and two. Thank you. Take one, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Tai. Okay, well, okay. what's uh, the vaccinated list? What? What list are you talking about? Vaccinated list? Uh, well, um, I can't. It was uh, it was shown to us during near the up. Show the list that doesn't that doesn't have the vaccinated uploaded. Oh, that's that was the one. one. That's the one he showed right now. Uh, thank you, uh, were you uh, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Anything. You're welcome. Is that clear to you or no? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, any, anything else? Okay, if it's not, so the new student for Take one for the fall 2021. What I want you to do, try to download the hand out for the lecture. Read it. I will start it tomorrow. Okay? Yes. Okay, so thank you, everyone. Wait, hold on. I was going to say, what do you want us to download again? Just wondering. What do you mean download again? Uh, if you already you to... have it, you don't have to. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, goodbye. Good thank you, good night. Okay, good night, everyone. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, bye, see you tomorrow. All right.